everyone, Ramey here, and today I'm going to show you how to create a basic tutorial or lesson using Articulate Storyline 360. Um, you can see basically what I've done is I've opened up Articulate Storyline and just click New Project. So I just have a basic blank screen right here, but we're going to walk through exactly how to do this. Um, I'm going to make it really simple just to break it down, show you some of the basic features and tools that you can use to create a nice little mini lesson. All right, so we have our introduction here. You know, we have a... Uh, our basic story view um, where we decide what we want to do. So today what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a lesson on surfing because I love surfing and I'm a surfer. Um, I live at the beach. I get to surf all the time and it's summer and I'm all into surfing right now. So we're going to do a video, a little quick lesson on surfing, but you can create a lesson on anything you want to. You know, I don't want to make something boring either. So I, I like making things fun. So Let's do that. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create just a couple slides um, just because I know like I want uh, just some content. Like my first slide really right here is just going to be a simple like introduction. Uh, like this is the topic. My next slide is going to be a basic. So I'm going to go to basic layouts and I'm going to click a, a title only because this next slide is just going to be my objective. So I'm going to tell the learners what they want to do. And then from here on out, I can actually put my content. So I'll get to there in a second, but let's work on these first few slides. So I go to my introduction and now what I want to do with the first thing I usually do when I open up a new presentation is I save it. I'm going to go to file, save as. I'm just going to save this right on my desktop to make it pretty easy and I'll call this surfing sample. So you always want to save your project first. So I've now saved my project. I'm kind of ready to go, ready to begin. So usually before I begin working on a presentation like this or a lesson or a module, I kind of know in my head what I want to do, what I want it to look like. Um, so, and I kind of have pre-planned that out so that I can do that today. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to double click on my slide. This brings me into my slide view. So you can see I have story view and slide view. I want to be in my slide view to kind of work with everything. Also, it's a more, it looks a little more like PowerPoint when I'm doing this, which makes it really easy for people to work with things. Okay, so I'm in my slide view and what I want to do is I want to, I'm going to insert some text and what I would like to do is just say, I'm going to call this surfing. And I could call this whatever I want to. I can make, you know, I can make my text kind of big if I want to. Um, I can give it a, a nice little back. Oh, that changes the font. Let's change the background. Uh, not red. Let's do white because what I'm going to actually do is I'm going to put an image here. And so there will be a white background around my text. So I'm going to put it now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to insert an image in this background and that'll be my first slide. So to insert an image, I'm going to go to insert and I'm going to go to picture and I'm going to open up a file. I'm going to find a file on my desktop, which I already have one conveniently. I created a whole new image ca uh, file called surfing. And I have this cool image I'm going to open up and put right on my desktop. Now, a few things. First of all, notice how automatically there's this layer, created a new layer to put the image on. I'm going to write and notice how my text is covered up. It's because the layers are out of order. They're not in the order I want. I'm just going to right click and I'm just going to click send to back. And I can send it backward, which means it goes back one layer or back goes all the way back. I'm just going to send it back all the way. And then I can play with my text and, you know, make it kind of cool and make it a nice little like intro. So we see like this surfing intro. OK, so we have our first slide done. I'm going to go to my next slide. This is the slide where I can start adding things. So I'm going to have my objectives and I'll say like you know I'm gonna insert a text box here so that I can insert some text and I can make it cool and you know I could say like today you are going to learn about surfing and I'll just keep it at that keep it really simple right so today we're gonna to learn about surfing all right so we've got our objective slides so now I can start actually adding my content and I can add up there's a and there's a bunch of ways to add content in Articulate. So let's take a look. So we go to new slide. So I have my content library. That's like so let's let's actually click on your content library. Your content library is all kinds of pre-made templates that you can use. So you can see here's like 
openings like they have really cool like introductions like way to list my objectives if i wanted to have it like kind of neat like that and i do like to use these over what the plain one i'm creating so they give you lots of cool things and one thing um so here's like different ways to present content like they have some really neat pre-made slides if you're not a graphic designer i highly suggest you use these the only reason i didn't for my first two slides is i'm just kind of trying to get to the really really basics of it but you can see they even have like various interactions that I can choose from. Like I can choose uh, tabs if I want to or closing. I can make my theme light or dark. You know, I can choose all these different things. And I'll just insert this into the slide. This will be a new slide. Now you can see it inserted it as this new slide. And basically what it does is when I click on one of these titles, it'll change the picture and text here. And you can see in my image here, in my timeline here, as I click on an image, all the different content that is involved in this little interaction here. So all that I would need to do is go to, you know, if I'm on title one, I can see the image. It's right here. I could change the image. I could change the actual title. I could change the image here that has it and the text here so that when I preview it, each image is going to change around. Let me just show you what that looks like. So you can see I click on my title and it goes to the new image and new text. Let's get out of there now that you've seen what it looks like. And what we can do is simply just change it all so that it meets my you know, project requirements and fits in with my project, which is really cool. Um, if I want different interactions, there are other ways to create it. Like if you own um articulate studio not just 360 you know when i go to insert new slide i can import all the different i can import powerpoint first of all but if i have quiz maker or engage um, or other storyline slides or questions i can import them right away so for example i created a, a an engage file just to make it really easy for me to show you guys how you can import so let me import that engage file. I'm just going to click open and it'll automatically stick it in as a file. Okay, so it's now opened up. So what it's asking me to do is how do I want to import this? Do I want it to be in the current scene or the new scene? I want it to be in the current scene. So I'm just going to click import and it's going to import it as a slide, which is really neat. So you can see what I've created. It's just a simple accordion here. So it's basically you click on the panel and new information pops up. It's very similar to this tabs interaction. But, you know, Articulate Engage gives you a few different kind of interactions to choose from that you're allowed to make things with, like different kinds of thing, uh, inter, like different kinds of interactions. So it's really a nice little, you know, app that they give you with the studio version. Okay, so I could start adding all kinds of things more, you know, I could start adding photos if I want to add more photos. Um, I could start adding illustrations. I could add some video. It's really about what do I want for my project? You know, I could add buttons. Um, I could change some things around. Like for example, if I want, if I, you know, let me just go to this slide. So it's much easier to see like this slide right now, the trigger, which means how is the slide going to advance? What's the action jump to next slide when the user clicks the next button or swipes next, you know, I could double click on that and bring up the trigger wizard. And right now it's jump to next slide, but I could make it that it jumps to the next slide after the slides played through or whenever I want to, you know, I have it right now when the user clicks, but I could have it when, you know, the timeline ends or something happens when they go to the next slide. So that's how you control when it's going to the next slide or not. So you know, there's a lot of options and, you know, ability to actually modify the control the user has. Okay. So, just to show you one other quick thing here. Okay, so I'm gonna go to view and I'm gonna go to media library and I just wanna show you this really quick. All right, so I don't have any audio, video or characters in this presentation because I just made this really quick so you can see. But when I go to images, these are all the images that I'm using. So you can see here's that surfing image I imported and then here's the images from my interaction that I imported. You know, they gave me these default like microphone and music, even though I don't wanna use those. All right, so I just wanted to quickly show you the media library because I think it's a useful, you know, I think you need to know where it is if you're creating things and importing and adding things. Okay, so we're all done. I mean, there I could, I you know, I could keep adding stuff. I could add videos. I could add a quiz question if I want to. You know, it depends what do I need for my project? What am I trying to create? What are my goals? 
but we're on the final phase. So, you know, you need to get your project ready. There's a lot of final like little touches you need to. So like I have all my content here and it's all done. But what I need to do is I'm going to click on my player. And I, what I need to do is make sure it actually looks right, that my subject matter experts and my SMEs are gonna be happy with it. Like right away, I go to this and I see that this is untitled scene. So I might wanna change that because this is what my end user is gonna see. You know, they're gonna see all their content in here, but they're also gonna see this skin of the player. So I have to make sure this also looks nice. You know, I noticed this says untitled slide. I, I probably don't want it to say that. So I'm going to go back in and make some of those changes to, so that it doesn't say that. But then I have to see, like, what do I want my users to have? Do I want them to have a menu? Do I even want that to be an option for them? Yeah, maybe I do. Maybe I don't. I'm just going to keep it there. Do I have any notes or do I have any other resources? Like I have this resources here on the side. Do I want a logo? Um, do I want them, you know, to have a play pause button? Is there is there closed captioning? You know, that kind of stuff. Um, here's my menu. So if I want to change or add things around, I can do that here. If I'm going to add like any documents like you know, a, a file that has all the, the script for the narration or something like that. I could add that here. Other files and they might need to open up or anything. I could add that here. I could change what I want my the this whole thing to look at like. Like, do I want it to be, do I want them to have the menu controls? What are the colors that I want this to have? You know, what do I want this to really look like? I can make it look light or dark. You know, it doesn't matter, but I just have to make sure that I'm meeting my SMEs needs. Once I'm ready and I have that all situated, I can click OK, and then I'm ready to publish. I'm going to click the Publish button. Now, before I publish, I need to know how I'm publishing this. Now, for me right now, I'm just going to publish on the web so that I can just open it up and show you really quick. But, you know, I might want to publish this via a video or Review360 for someone to review. Um, might be going to a learning management system. Um, so it just depends, but you have to know that. So I'm just going to publish to the web, which is the basic publish option where it publishes on the desktop. I'm just going to click publish. And I'm simply just going to view my project. It'll just pull it right up. All right, so here's my project. It opened right in my browser, so whatever their default browser is. So you do have to test browsers to make sure everything works. But here's my first slide. I don't have any sound, but this is exactly what I said it was going to look like, right, when I was playing with my player. Here's my interaction tab. You can see it working. And then finally, we have our accordion. So our accordion, I didn't enter any content in here. It's just a sample of what it could look like. I created this using the Engage app, which I'll show in a different video how to make things with that. But you can make interactions with that. And that's it. That's how you create a very simple, basic tutorial using Articulate. Thank you.